Hey, good day, prayer warriors. God bless you on this Thursday, July 25th. Thank you so much for taking time out to come join with other prayer warriors as we continue to battle principalities and powers and believe God for great things. Amen. So our Bible reading today is, remember, we're reading through the New Testament. All right, of course, we can't read the whole thing here. You're should be reading it there, one chapter or a few verses that it says for that day. So today is the 25th chapter of the book of Acts. We're in the book of Acts right now. We've gone through Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and we're at Acts now. And <clears throat> this is Paul appeal to, to, to Caesar. And in verse 12, it says, Then Festus, when he had conferred with the council, answered, you have appealed to Caesar, and Caesar you shall go. And we know that turns into an outstanding voyage. Exciting, amen. Everything is exciting in God. Maybe we've never had a ship fall apart on us like Paul did. But anyway, today we're praying for our nation is Suriname. Suriname has 17, 2% evangelical Christians, about 600,000. And it says to keep the team in prayer there as they plan to travel to two interior regions this year. Both of these trips are very long and dangerous. Please pray for protection, but above all, pray that people's lives will be changed. Pray for connection to the right leaders and volunteers to partner with. Amen. So Suriname number 37 on our prayer chart. It's right there if you want to lay your hands on that. Amen. Then in the United States, we're praying for New York, 13 and a half million people, 10% evangelical Christian in Massachusetts, almost 7 million people, 9% evangelical Christians. Also, we have these prayer maps, both of them at the Welcome Center, if you would like one. And then today, we're praying for our military, our military. All right, church, uh, prayer warriors, let's go ahead and pray today. Father, again, we bless you and thank you for a new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, I know there are brothers and sisters joining me throughout the day as we pray together. I thank you that you are the God of space, you are the God of time, so there is no time in you. So we thank you that the effectual fervent prayers of righteous people, righteous people, uh, availeth much, has great power, Lord. So we thank you, thank you, thank you for this. Abba, as we come before you today in prayer, I thank you that I lift up, first of all, before you the prayer cards that have come in. And I pray, Father, for each and every need that fellow brothers and sisters have. I thank you that my God supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you for needs being met spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, and financially, Lord. I thank you, thank you for that in Jesus' name. Father, on this last day of VBS, Lord, over 500 children daily, just about on certain days, but over 500 on other days. I thank you for a great explosion today, an explosion, I mean, fun and excitement and teaching the word of God and that this scripture will be in children's hearts for the rest of their lives, Lord. I thank you that you that has begun a good work in these children you will bring it to completion, Lord. Lord, we're tired of hearing of our children going off to colleges and universities and being brainwashed by demonic people, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for their faith being strong at a young age and, Lord, that they will continue to grow in you. I thank you also. We lift up our church services on Sunday, Lord, as we continue on in this teaching of Psalm, Psalm 91, hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for bringing forth your word. Thank you for bringing forth fellowship, Lord. It's so important that Christians fellowship together, Lord, and on and on that a church service has. And we praise you and honor you for that. Lord, we lift up our United States of America today and we pray, Father, for New York and Massachusetts 
And we pray for every state, Lord. We pray for people. States are here. United States is here. Might be gone tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? <clears throat> but we pray for the people, Lord. We pray for the lost, the unchurched, the unsaved. We pray for scales to come off of people's eyes and hearts to be open. I pray for people that have been hurt, maybe at a, a church somewhere. And I pray, Father, that they'll get back in church. You said offenses will come. We all know that we've all been offended. But Lord, we got to keep on keeping on. Stamina, pushing through. That's your will for us. Faith is action. Faith is a verb. Get her done. Action word. So we pray for our United States of America. As I pray for them on our prayer focus today, we lift up our military today. We lift up the Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Air Force, the Coast Guard, the Space Force, and we just thank you for each and every one of these military branches, Father, and we thank you for their strength, their well-being. We pray for soldiers that are, are hurting, Lord. We pray that you can bring peace to their minds, Lord. We pray for those that have been injured, those that have lost limbs, Lord, and we pray, Father, for them. We pray for the, the families that have lost uh, uh, children, husbands, wives, whatever it might be, gold star families. We think of, the, I believe, the 13 that were killed in that fiasco in Afghanistan over a year ago now. We pray for others also, Lord, that you would bring them the comfort that they need. And I thank you for that. We lift up the nation of Israel during this time of war, and we pray for their protection we, as, a, as a nation, but we pray for the Jewish people, for the scales to come off their eyes, their hearts to be open to the glorious gospel, their gospel that was given now to us Gentiles, but first came to them. We lift up Jerusalem before you, and we pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Maranatha, come Prince of Peace, come. Hallelujah. We lift up other nations in our world as we go through each nation of, our, of the world. We lift up Kakistan, 1.7% evangelical Christians. Afghanistan, 0.01%. Krakistan, 0.3%. Tajikistan 0.07, Pakistan 0.6, India 2.2, Maldives 0.1% evangelical Christians. We lift up these nations before you as we pray for our world today, Lord. Lord, again, nations seem to come and nations seem to go, but we pray for the lost, the unchurched, the unsaved. We pray for those that have never heard the gospel, that the gospel message can get to them, Lord. Somehow, some way, we lift up different organizations that are out there preaching the gospel. Again, we lift up Suriname before you, if I've forgotten. We pray for them as our uh, prayer-focused nation today. We lift up Renew World Outreach, Resonate Global Mission, Revival Movement Associates, River of Life Church, Romania Missionary Society, Reach, Saddleback Church. We lift up before you Billy Graham Evangelical Ministries, Dwayne Sheriff Ministries, Sat-7 North America, Christians United for Israel. We lift up these different good works throughout the land and we thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. Lord, we lift up CFFC before you. I pray for every member, attender, and guest today. And I pray, Father, that, the, that you, you would help them, guide them, lead them. I pray for our guests as they walk in. Lord, if we're not the right fit, fit for them, that they'll find the church that will be the right fit for them. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Lord. I pray for every member, Lord. I pray for every partner, every person that gives, every person that volunteers, Lord, those that do different things, our MVP people, Lord. I thank you for each and every one of these in Jesus' name. 
Now, Lord, as we start wrapping up, we give you the praise and the honor that's due your name. You alone are God, and there is none like you. We praise you. Holy Spirit, we take a, a little bit of time to just wait in your presence. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Thank you, Lord. There's someone today that you, you need peace in your heart. You need peace in your mind. You're struggling with things. You need to let it go. You need to hand it over to the Lord. Cast all of your cares, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns once and for all upon him for he cares for you affectionately. You might say, how do I do that? My mind just spins. It's effortless change. Just if you can't read the word of God, listen to it constantly. Put it on when you fall asleep. Put your headphones on. Get the word of God flowing in you. Play the New Testament on and on. Get it and you're going to see it's effortless change. You'll see your entire life change like that. If you give it some time, give it some time, you'll see your life change. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for that word. That's for somebody today. Please go ahead and receive that. Lord, again, we worship you and we exalt you and we thank you. Thank you for this day. Thank you that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for these precious ones. I pray over them. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom, shalom, shalom. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God is good. That was a word for somebody today. Go ahead and take that. It's so important that effortless change. It's so easy to do, but you got to do it. Amen. Do what? Go to this book. Listen to anointed preachers. Amen. You got this stupid phone thing that can put so many downloads on it. Listen to anointed men and women of God. I don't know who to listen to. Listen to me. Listen to the Sunday services. Listen to the Wednesday services. Get your Bible out. Look up the scriptures. And then just play the Bible. Go to YouVersion. Download that app and just fill yourself up with the word of God and you'll see a complete change in your life. Give it some time. A seed doesn't grow like that. Tomatoes take a few months before it grows. Give it some time and watch your life change. Amen. It's your word for today. Have a great day. God bless you, your families. God, God bless.